Seems like nowadays, if a side-by-side -side isn't 70 inches wide and 200 horsepower, it isn't even worth talking about. But the fact remains, the 50-inch market is still going strong. Polaris started the 50-inch wide sport market with the introduction of the Razor, and other manufacturers followed. The key appeal to this narrow-width, smaller stature side-by-side -side is its accessibility to trails and probably the most talked about topic of the day, price. We get access to some of the hottest vehicles in the industry, and it's our job to showcase them and share our opinions, whether they appeal to everyone or just a small segment of the market. Regardless of what you might think, we are fully aware that the price of off-road vehicles is getting out of hand. And as cool as the highest horsepower machines are with all the bells and whistles, not everyone's a wannabe desert racer, and not everyone's got 50 grand or more to lay down just to get out on the trails and have some fun. CF Moto packs a bundle of value into its newly designed Z-Force 800 Trail G2 EPS. Its starting price is competitive in this category, but one quick look at the features list will show you just how much more value you get for your investment, plus a five-year limited warranty in Canada. Like Luke pointed out in his overview of this machine on our YouTube channel, there are a few parts and accessories here that aren't necessarily standard, like this front bush bar and the front and rear wind protection. However, features like this roof, the 3,500 pound winch, mirrors, gorgeous looking 14 inch wheels, and EPS are all standard. And to get those items from the competition, you're moving up trim package and literally adding thousands onto your order. When you first climb into the cockpit, you'll immediately notice how much attention CF Moto has paid to rider comfort. I've never been a fan of CF Moto seats, and I admit I had my mind made up before I even sat down, but these seats are ridiculously comfortable. They're plush and there's enough bolstering to be supportive and to keep you in place while you're cornering. The instrumentation is bright, colorful, and loaded with easy to read information. My only gripe would be to make it about 25% larger, but as it stands, it's one of the nicest setups in the industry. Take note, Articat. The doors are top tier. They're fully finished on the inside with really nice handles. They close tight and there's a rubber seal on the outside to keep muck out. Once seated, they're high enough on your shoulder to provide additional protection from branches and debris as well. Plus, sight lines over the hood are clean and provide no obstruction from seeing the trail in front of you. And storage inside the cab is abundant with deep passenger sidewells here and a smaller driver sidewell here. Both seal up fairly tight and keep your stuff safe, clean and dry. This thing rolled onto our lot, I couldn't wait to take it out for a rip and form my own opinions. The engine specs impressed me and I was really curious about the rear suspension setup. Power delivery from the 62 horsepower V-Twin is smooth and linear, making this Z-Force perfect for trail riding. Throttle modulation is smooth in both normal and sport modes thanks to the electronic throttle control, and I actually like the pedal placement more than in the Razor. I found it very comfortable to press to the floorboards when conditions permitted, and to modulate at slower speeds while navigating more technical terrain. After testing the Z-Force in both modes, I felt that Sport was more suited to my driving style. We found some competitive models tend to be too jerky and a bit too aggressive in their version of Sport, but power delivery out of the Z-Force 800 trail was linear and manageable, and the renowned CD Tech clutching in either mode was buttery smooth. My feeling is that normal mode is more suitable for slower trail crawling, as it really seemed to mellow out power delivery. It should actually be called trail mode or crawl mode instead of normal, because truthfully, sport felt the most normal to me and was what I spent the majority of my day riding in. I've read all your comments online about similarities to the Maverick Trail. It's important to note that the rear suspension setup is very different from the Maverick Trail and the shocks are mounted quite a bit more forward. The link double arm independent suspension mated to the relatively simple gas charge shocks at all four corners providing 10 inches of travel up front and 12 inches of travel out back are plush and provide smooth riding over gnarly and aggressive sections of trail that we tested our Z-Force on. The sway bars do a good job of keeping the vehicle planted while attacking the corners aggressively. Ground clearance is competitive at 10 inches and combined with a full skid plate do a decent job of underside protection. I admit I'm impressed with this machine. CF Moto's taken a huge step forward with the redesign of this model and seems to have paid particularly close attention to what the market wants out of a 50 inch wide sport side-by-side. -side. My only major gripe about the Z-Force 800 is that I felt a bit cramped in the cockpit compared to some of the vehicles we've been testing lately. 
It's not that I was uncomfortable by any means, and the reality is all competitive 50-inch wide sport UTVs are a bit snug because they're smaller stature vehicles, so this is something I'd be willing to accept out of a vehicle of this size. We see a mix of positive and negative comments every time we post something about CF Moto on social media, but you have to understand that's true for every single brand we cover. No matter what you feel about the company though, there's no denying that CF Moto is a legitimate company producing some excellent power sports equipment. Here's the advice we offer anytime someone asks us whether they should buy one particular brand or another. Do your homework. Research everything you can about the vehicle, and we recommend starting with our videos. Then go talk to your dealer to make sure you're comfortable with their service policies and the availability of parts, should you need them. This will ensure peace of mind with your post-purchase experience. Remember, it's your money, so spend it wisely.